We'll make a faith confession together after the faith confession. I will read the word of the Lord you're hearing. You can feel free thereafter to have your seat in his presence. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we honor and thank you for this opportunity and this privilege of fellowship together and this time of focusing our attention on your word. I pray now that you will send your word unchecked and unhindered by any force. I pray, Lord God, that you will tailor this word for every situation. For you know us name by name, situation by situation. And Lord God, we realize that without you we can do nothing. So even now, I say, Holy Spirit, come forth. For I decrease that you, Holy Spirit, might do what you are assigned to do. We give you honor and glory and praise and thanks. And in advance, we believe you, Lord God, that none of the seed will fall void. But your word shall accomplish that which you purpose for it. This we give you thanks for and praise for, for we believe and ask it all in the matchless name of Jesus and all in agreement. Say amen. amen. And amen. amen. If you would, hold your Bibles up with me and repeat after me. Say, this is the word of God. This is the word of God. It is life. It is life. To me. To me. And because of God's faithfulness. And because of God's faithfulness. To his word. To his word. In my obedience. My obedience. To him in faith. To him in faith. I now walk in love. I now and the blessing of abundant, life. of abundant life. While you're yet standing, reading from James chapter 1, starting in verse 2, King James Version is recorded on this wise. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire and wanting nothing. All right now. While you're yet standing, I'm going to ask you to go with me to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. When you have it, say amen. 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 From the King James Version, it is recorded on this wise. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now let me share that with you from the Amplified Version. Same passage, Hebrews 11, 1, Amplified. Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see yeah, that's right. and the conviction of their reality. Yeah, amen. Faith, perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. All right, now. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, there's nothing like, there's there's nothing nothing like timely faith. Timely faith. And timely faith, and timely faith is now faith. Is now faith. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a praise. Timely faith is now faith. That's right. When when do we need faith? We need faith right, right now. now. Right now. Amen. Amen. Timely faith is now. now faith. Present tense faith. Yes. Not faith for the future, yes. but faith in the day we're in. Amen. Faith in the hour we're in. Amen. We, we talked on, on last week a bit about this tried faith. And the scripture tells us there in James uh, for us to count it all joy when, it didn't say if, it said when we fall into divers or different types of temptations. Yes. And, and believe it or not, every believer deals with temptation. Yes. Like it or not, we deal with temptation. Yes. So then, if we're going to have to deal with temptation anyway, then let's get some counsel from the Word of God on how we're to deal with it. All right, yeah. now. Yeah. Amen. If i got to deal with it anyway, just, just, just help me on how to handle it. All right. Yeah. And so, so the Word says 
that, that we for one should count it all joy. So, so even though I'm in a situation that I may not particularly like, this God's temptation talks about trials and, and tribulations and things of that nature. Even though I'm in a difficult time, Bible tells me to count it all joy. Amen. Amen. Bible tell me go ahead and praise him anyway. Bible tell me go ahead and give him glory in the midst of my storm. Look at your neighbor and say, you know he's talking to you right now. Amen. Amen. Because we have storms that rise up. You, you know, they, they said something about uh, uh, the lake here, Lake Ontario, that there are some challenges about being out on Lake Ontario. And one of the challenges are you can be out there when it's looking nice and sunny and calm and all that, and then seem like out of nowhere a storm rolls up. That's right. And then folk are trying to get to shore right. so they're not overcome by the storm. Yes. And you and I today, going through life, sometime in the life that we live, a storm rise seemed like from nowhere. nowhere. Yes. Everything was good. Yes. And then it looked like the bottom yes. fell out. Amen. Looked like everything changed, and it didn't change for the better. All right. Amen. And you need to know in the midst of your life with Christ, what to do when the situation changes like that. The Bible said, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptation. And the temptation I want to ask you to consider today is the temptation to bow out on faith. All right, now. All right. You see, because if we're not careful, when things start happening, we don't go and try to reason out why it's happening and what we ought to do to make it better. All right. We'll, we'll take our, our psychology and we'll take the knowledge that we had from books and other experiences and we'll try to apply those to every situation and sometimes forget to just say, Lord, what do you want me to do in this All right, now. All right. Yes. You see, because what worked last time may not work quite the same this time. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You've been down the road before. Yeah. You, you had some situations yeah. rolled out yeah. and, and you did what you did before. Yeah. And sometimes what you did before didn't yeah. have the same yeah. uh, uh, impact and yeah. didn't have the same end result that you were looking for the way it happened the first time. That's yeah. right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the right. Zion's temptation yeah. that everybody faces is the temptation That's to right. bow out on faith. All right. Amen. But I just want to remind you today that timely faith mm. prevails. Yes. If you want to come over, if you want to be on top, if you want victory, if you want to win with God, yes. you're going to have to demonstrate faith. Yes. All right. Yes. Come on. Yes, Lord. Yes. So, so, so James speaks to us and he says, knowing this, there are some things you just got to know. Yes, yes. yes. You just got to know. Yes, um, how, how many of you don't know how to swim? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. I know you're not bragging on that, but I understand. It's a fact. It's a fact. Now, see, I'm going to tell you now, I don't want to be out in the water on the boat with you. I mean, uh, we don't have all the cruise ships. I take a chance. But if it's just a little rowboat, a little motorboat, I just assume not be on it with you. All right, that's all right. And, and I'll tell you why. See, because if I'm not there on the boat with folks who know how to swim, and the boat capsizes or some kind of way we end up in the water. Uh -huh. I don't have to worry about folks who know how to swim. Because they're just going to go ahead and start swimming. Mm -hmm. They might tread water a little while, might That's start backstroking, back floating. Hey Amen, you know. <laughs> but I, I don't know what they might do, but they will swim, you understand? <laughs> but if y'all there with somebody like, who don't know how to swim, you gotta get away from them because they have drowned in swimmers. <laughs> no, no, I kid you not. This, I'm telling you real life. That's true. That's true. That's true. They, they will drown you, and sometime in life, we get with folks that don't have faith, and we try to get counsel from them on how to handle our situation. 
situation when what we need to do is get with somebody who got faith who can help us on how to get out of this situation. That's right. You know, it's, it, yes. it's sad, but there are some folk who never been married, <laughs> never had any lasting relationships, and then you got folk who are married, going through some difficulty, and they go to the folk that can't keep nobody. <laughs>
So, so then I need to, if I'm saved, if I believe the Lord Jesus has really saved me, I need to be Christian no matter if you go with me or That's not. Right. That's I right. need to be unashamedly, yes. unapologetically yes. a child of the most high God. And I'm telling you now, don't let nobody shame you out of that. If anything, that's a badge of honor that's that you wear with that's humility. Glory to heaven. Yes. Glory to God. It is so. Yes. It is so. So the Lord tells him, I want you to be strong and very courageous. And he tells him, I want you to hold on to the word of the law that I gave Moses. That's right. I don't want you to deviate from it at all. Look at your, your neighbor and say, stick with the word. Stick with the word. Then verse 80 says, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. In other words, you ought to always be saying what I said. Look at your neighbor and say, he's talking to you right now. Amen. You ought to always be saying what I said. Say it right Ye, you shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe and do according to all that is written therein. Yes. For then, who shall make their way prosper? All right, he will. Who? Bible says, for then you shall make your way prosperous. And then you yes. shall have good success. Yes. Now, I read, I read from the Amplified. Let me get that for you from the King James. Because some of y'all, yeah, okay, let me just go to King James. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate in it day and night, mm -hmm. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, if you do that, then who shall make your way prosperous? Mm -hmm. Thou, who is thou? You. Who's going to make your way prosperous? Mm -hmm. You. When you've done what God said. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have what kind of success? Good, 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 good success. success. So all we got to do is what he said. So God's word should always be coming out of our mouths, no matter what the situation is. Yes. It might seem like I'm going down for the last time, but I declare that the Lord is my help. Yes. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. When Peter stepped out of the boat, he's walking on water. Amen. The other disciples are in the boat, and that's what messes up sometimes, because the other Christian won't do what we're doing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you picture this with me, but here you have all these folk that walk with Jesus. I'm talking about his homies. Can you say that in church? His homies, yeah. Okay. I, I'm talking about his crew. His disciples. His disciples. They're walking with him all the while. They're on the boat when a storm arrives. So they're all believers, all dealing with the same thing. But only one had the, the, the wherewithal to say, Jesus, if that's you, bid me to come. That's right, man. I need, I need you to understand today, there are other Christians that's not going to take the stand, but you can be the one like Peter. Oh, God. Sometimes we talk about Peter like Peter messed up so bad, but I bless God for Peter. Peter had some boldness about him. Peter wasn't trying to fit the mold of what everybody else is doing. Peter was willing to take a chance, my God. But I'm going to say, here, be Courageous. That's right. That's right. Amen. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Be courageous. Step out. Glory to God. Listen, listen. Uh, you know, I, I can't help but think about how, how when David came to go check on his brothers like his father told him, and uh, his brothers were in Saul's army, as it were. Mm -hmm. And they're around other mighty and valiant men of Saul's army. And as he comes to check on his brothers, he hears what they have been hearing, but it doesn't affect him like it affected them. That's right. See, see, you go through situations and what some folk are dealing with one way, God just speaks to your heart. You can't see it quite like that. They act like it's all doom and gloom. But you see God's hand in it. Oh, God. I hope you can hear me today by the spirit of the living God. A situation happened. Listen, listen. You, you Here you are, uh, and this happens so often. Folk have an accident. Auto accident. Car get a dent in it, hear that. They were on their way someplace important to them. Now they teed off. Right? Especially if they ain't caused it. If they caused it, they kind of quiet down. 
That's a good place for an amen. All right now. All right now. But but if 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 somebody else caused it, somehow they can get in the raid. Yes, right. That's right. But like, you wet fool, what they doing? That's you know, right. Like, uh, so when at the very same time you have an occasion for praise, that's right. when you can thank God and not many words. That's right. You can thank God that right. didn't get hurt. You can thank God that didn't get killed. Yeah. Come on here, yeah. somebody. Now, pray. 
faith. Amen. Because timely faith prevails. When you're going through your, your struggles. Yes. The psalmist speaks to us and, and he says there in Psalm 46, one said, God is our refuge and strength. Yes. A very present help in trouble. I may be in trouble, but God is my refuge. He's, he's the one that's going to cover me and he's my strength to bear up under the load that I got to deal with. Amen. I know he's a present help, not a help for down the road. He is a right now help in my who wouldn't serve a God like this? Yeah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Yeah. I don't, some of y'all have some, some challenges in your neighborhood. Yeah. You got some neighbors you don't particularly <laughs> call your best friend. Uh -huh. Some of us been on some jobs where there's some folk be stressing. Uh huh. Amen. There are some folks look like they want to make it hard on you just because they can. Amen. I don't think y'all face that. Y'all fucking in the trouble. There's some folks out there, I promise you, yes, it look is. like they take joy in making it yes. difficult for yes. somebody else. Yes. Well, I just want to remind you today that even in the midst of facing adversaries, you've got to use your faith. Yes, right. Because if you don't, you're subject to act out of the flesh. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Because I don't care how saved you are now, you weren't always saved. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Say it, say it. Amen. And, and, and some Amen. of us, Lord Jesus, thank God we saved. Just thank God. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Actually, that's what you all of us. Well, the psalmist right. says there in, in, in Psalms 3 and verse 6. Amen. You, you don't have to worry about your adversaries. Yeah. You have help. Amen. 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 When David came out there and, and, and here you have this adversary to Israel, to the armies of Israel, and he stands to defy the God of the Israelites, and David wasn't intimidated by all. David thought about what God had done for him before, what God had done for him when nobody can see. I want to encourage you today to treasure those times that God did something for you that only you know about unless you told somebody. That's all right. uh -huh. Amen. There's times when, when there's uh, uh, things that God does in our lives that only you and God know about. Amen. Only you and God. I want to encourage you today to value that. Yes. That's what helped David slay the lion. Yes. He said, when I was on the backside of the mountain, as it were, keeping my father's sheep, yes. God gave me to slay the bear and the lion. Yes. So then he goes on to say now to the uh, 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 Goliath, he said, the Lord's going to bring him down and I'm going to take his head off. Yes. All right. All right. He had faith for the yes. moment. He had courage for the moment. Yes. So yes. everybody yes. around shaking in their boots. Not and these not. are supposed to be the people who know. These are supposed to be the ones who are bad to the bone. All right, now. All right. All right. I hope you're hearing me today. Yes. I, I perceive by the Spirit of God that God is stirring somebody to step up yes. out from the crowd yes. and do something he wants them to do. Yes. Yes. It's easy to stand the boat with the other disciples, but you'll never get to walk on water if you do that. Amen. If you want to walk on water, you're going to have to step out of the boat. And even though Peter started sinking, Peter had the mind that I know my Jesus can help me. And he cried out, Help, Lord. The Bible lets us know that he helped him out. Yes. Yes. You need some faith. Come on here. Timely faith prevails. Amen. So there, there in, in uh, uh, Psalms 3, verse 6, says, I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people mm. that have set themselves against me round about. Yes. Arise, O oh Lord, save me, O oh my God, for thou hast smitten all of my enemies upon the cheekbone. All right, thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Yes. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessings is upon thy people. Where is the blessings of God? Upon, Upon his people. So, so here the psalmist said, I'm not going to be afraid Don't 10,000 rise up against me. Amen. Amen. You don't always have to fit into the crowd, somebody. Yeah, that's right. Hello? Yeah. The crowd is not always the best place to be. Yeah. It's not always in the number. 
chapters, it's in the number. That's right now. I say it's not in the number plural, it is in the number singular. That's right. If Gideon could talk to us right now, Gideon would remind us that even though I had a whole lot of folk with me, but I was coming up against even more than that. And then God reduced all my stuff down to basically nothing. I ended up with only three men, 300 men, to go against 32,000 men. So it's not in the numbers. 32,000 was the numbers. But he was with the number. Number one, the great, uh, the, the first, the last, the alpha, the omega, the great I am. He was with him, and the Lord fought his back. God gave him victory. Amen. How many know victory belongs to you today? But you got to have faith. He had to have timely faith. Timely faith. Timely faith. Timely. Timely faith. Scripture says, I can do all things through Christ, Christ, Christ which strengthens me. me. Well, the Amplified Version says it. I have strength for all things in Christ mm -hmm. who empowers me, and I am ready for anything yes. and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. Yes. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Yes, right. Right. Amen. Amen. So you can Amen. handle it with the Lord. Amen. Whatever it is. That's right. You know, you know another place where we need time and faith? Is in giving. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on, Jesus. Did you say that? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Amen. We, we need time and faith in giving. Yes. You see, because there's times when we're supposed to give, and, and some of us, we got the whole thing twisted the night from the start. Well. We want to pay all our bills. <laughs> Go and do all the other stuff we want to do. And then we say, oh, man. This is all I got. And it's tithe money. Oh, sometimes we done dipped into it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. We say, I would pay it, but I, right now I ain't got it. Amen. The Lord understands. Come on. And, uh, we feel like we got a legitimate excuse. But the counsel of scripture is that God's part is supposed to be set aside first. Amen. Amen. Now you might be able to keep your cable on. But I promise you it won't heal you. Come on. You, 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 you may be able to keep your cell phone on. But I promise you, it won't comfort you. Are you hearing today? And we need to put first things first. And for us to do it, we're going to have some timely faith. Because the timely faith that prevails is the, the faith that says, no, I'm going to give the God what's God's, and I'm going to trust Him to bless the rest. That's right. Hello, somebody. That's right. Scripture says there in Philippians 4.19, some of you are very, very familiar with the passage. Philippians 4.19. And this is something you need to rely on. You need to be, rely on and believe that what God said he meant. Amen. Scripture says, and, and Apostle Paul is speaking to those at Philippi, and he says, but my God. Amen. I don't know who you believe in. He says, but my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. How many know that God has already provided for us all things that pertain to life and God? Amen. Amen. If he's already provided, that means it's that. Now you may not have put your hands on it. You may not even observe it with your eyes. But I'm telling you, it's already there for you. Amen. And you and I have to exercise time and faith in our giving that we will give to God as we ought to, trusting God, knowing that he's faithful. Amen. 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 The Amplified yes, Version yes. says it this way. I have strength, oh, 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 and my God shall supply, fill to the full, yes. Your every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Filled to the what? To the full. Your what? Every need. Every need. Every need. Yes. Glory, glory, glory. You know, I'm, I, 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 I'm thinking about some 
Now faith that I had to demonstrate Jesus. some years ago. Jesus. Some of you know I'm a retired professional firefighter. Amen. Well, prior to being a firefighter, I was saved. Uh -huh. And uh, had a growing family. <laughs> Needed a job that paid better and had some benefits and had a retirement. Respectable work. All right. I wanted to, to do firefighting because I love helping people and that's what the job did. Mm -hmm. And I remember trying to get some of my friends and family to go with me so we could take the exam. But everybody I would talk to basically said, I don't want to burn up. Uh -huh. But I wasn't signing on to go get burnt up. That's yeah. right. That's right. I was signing on for a profession. That's right. And uh, then I had folk told me, you can't be a firefighter. And I said, why? They said, you too short. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, they didn't. They said I wasn't tall enough. Yeah, right. But y'all yeah. already know I'm a pretty big guy. I just look short. Amen. <laughs> Amen. No, I am. I really am. I just look short. That's all. Amen. So, so, so I had to fight through that. I had to have some now faith That's for right. that hour. That's right. You see, because we've been engineered from the factory to function better together. That's right. And we always want to belong. That's, that's, that's part it. of human nature. We want to belong so somewhere. We want somebody to appreciate us. We want to be in favor of somebody. That's just how we are wired. That's and it. so for you to go ahead and do what you ought to do, even when nobody else is that's there, right. that takes a stretch. That's right. Most of us can do something easier that's if somebody's right. doing it with us. All right. All right. It's even like tasting food. No, you taste it first. You taste it. I taste it. Uh, you go, I go. You going? I don't know. Well, I go, you go. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Amen. So they decided to go, we show up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't find anybody, but I knew I needed more and I wanted more. Look at your neighbor and say, you should want more. You want more. Amen. If you want more, you're going to have to do something different. That's right. Amen. That's right. So anyway, I went on and took the exam and, man, the part that really, you know, I, I knew what the exam, uh, that it was coming up, I found out what they were going to ask of us to do in various things. So I went and I started studying and preparing myself for taking the written portion of the exam. And I got through that and then we had to go through uh, a, a number of different exams. One of them was the physical agility. Physical agility was where you had to do these physical things. So we had to run, do chin-ups, all kinds of stuff. So I prepared myself for it. And uh, when I came down that day, man, I'm, I'm, I was a little scared. I, I promise I was. I, man, I got a test against all these other folk. All right. And, uh, man, I walk up in there, and there were some guys. I wasn't a slouch. Uh -huh. Okay? My stuff was tight. It was just in a little package. <laughs> so, so, so I walk up in there, man, these big guys, I mean, they got the big guns. I mean, they got the band, look like, you know, they're going to blow this out the water, right? And I'm standing beside this one guy, he's probably about 6'3", big guy, and he's before me, he got to go before me, and they have him do the chin-ups. This guy can't even do no chin-ups. He grimaces and all, he get out like three chin-ups. And I'm looking at, I'm blown away, because I mean, I can do this. <laughs> no, back in the day, I promise. You. Okay? I mean, I got a little something left now. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I, I see them, you know, and he couldn't hardly do it, and I'm thinking, how is that? I mean, I looked at this dude. This dude looked like he's supposed to be able to do, like, this year, put one thing up there and do that, you know. But uh, my time came, you know, I just. You know, I mean, it was easy. All right. And uh, but I did have a challenge in it. My challenge was the standing broad jump, and I wanted to max everything they had. So the minimum on the standing broad jump was six feet eight inches. The maximum was eight feet six inches, where you just stand and jump out eight feet six inches. Just no running, just jump. <laughs> and uh, man, I was practicing that so much the night before time to. Be there. I mean, I practiced it a whole bunch, but the night before I was supposed to be there, I couldn't get it. Every time I did, I fell back on my hands, and that disqualified you. You got two chances at it. 
So that day, I'm, you know, y'all know I'm praying, right? All right, now. But I have my now faith working. That's it. All right, all right. That God can help me do this. Yes, man. So I'm standing there, getting ready to jump, and I'm praying, and I jump, and I fall back. I got one more chance to still be in this. And I had already said, Lord, if you don't want me to have this, that's fine with me. I just want to be in the center of your will. Uh, if on this job I'm going to take the big head because I'll handle more money than I've handled before. And I'm going to veer off in some vain way. I don't want it. I don't that's want anything right, that's right. in between me and you. Yes. Yes. Amen. So anyway, uh, uh, went for the second time and I made it. And out of nearly 1,600 people that mm -hmm. took the initial exam, I tied with a 100 score at number 18. All right, now. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Yeah. Now, he always tested against folk who they had graduated from high school, had associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, some had right. multiple bachelor's degrees <laughs> and higher. I was a high school dropout. Yeah. I had only completed the ninth grade. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I mean, I went back, got my GD and all that kind of yes, stuff, but right. I'm talking about I had dropped out. All right. And since then, you know, I've gone on to school more. So somebody looked like, you got a doctoral degree. Yes. Amen. I have a doctoral degree. Yes, Amen. Hello. All right. Your shortcomings in your past does not dictate your future. That's right. Amen. That's right. But you're going to have to have some now faith if you're going to prevail. Amen. The doctors told my wife she couldn't have children. Right. We're married a year. No children come. So, so the Holy Spirit, or we married, no children coming. She's bothered by me. I wasn't because I'm thinking, let's just send you all the stuff in here. <laughs> so that's where I was, for real. Because I knew when they come, they was going to get some of my time. All right, all right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. How, many, how many know when the baby comes, you got to get time to say Amen. 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 So, now, so now, what I did, I went out and bought diapers. <laughs> then later, we had five children. Amen. <laughs> Doctor says she couldn't have him. Amen. All right. But I have some now faith. Amen. Are you hearing today? That's right. God wants us to stretch. God wants to take us someplace. And it's someplace good, but we can only go there by faith. That's right. We can go there by obeying his word. We can go there by trusting him in every situation. And I just want to encourage you today not to give up, but to look up. Because try faith produces. Your faith is going to be tried. Can you believe God when it don't look like it's going to work out? Can you believe God when others fail at it? If you can believe for success anyway, can you believe God when nobody wants to go with you? Can you believe God when you got to be afraid of those of being looking like a fool and made a shame of like, what if it don't work? I done told everybody. I done spent all my money. I done made this step. What if it don't work? God lead you to leave a job and you say, well, I can't leave You need time, a, a faith in time for the situation you're in. That's it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Time. Some folks say, well, you know, I, I really, I want to be saved, but, you know, um, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not all together there yet. Listen, you may not be all together there, but God is. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> Your ability to live the life God has called us to live is not totally dependent on you. That's right, God. It's not totally dependent on you. Thank you, Jesus. It's, it's, it's dependent on you being in agreement with God. That's it. So, God, I believe you. That's it. I, I, you, you told
long do you want me to live this life? You yeah. already know my weaknesses, my flaws, my proclivities. God, you already know my ups and my downs. Amen. God, I'm trusting you to help me in every one of them. I want to do this what you called me to do. I want to live a life that honors you. I want to be faithful in executing Amen. what you've instructed me to do. God, I need you to help me to have some timely faith. Yes, 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 yes Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Look at your neighbor. God's trying to take you somewhere. God's trying to take you somewhere. And it's somewhere good. Somewhere good. But you must go. But you must go. With your faith. With your faith. With your faith. Using, Using God's word. God's word. Continually. Continually. Amen. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a clap off in the name. Amen. 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 Time with faith prevails. Yes. You overcome by using faith yes. Yes. at that time, at that juncture. My God, those of you in the mm. Facebook family, yes. you overcome by time of faith. Yes. Yes. And when is the time for faith? Now. Right now. Now is the time for faith. Right now. To those of you around the globe who are streaming to, time with faith. Prevails. Yes, 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 yes. It does prevail. Yes, it does. The Bible tells us not to cast away our confidence. Yes. Amen. Amen. He may not have come, and there was a song we used to sing years ago, say he may not come when you want him. All right. But he's always right on time. time. Amen. Yes. It may not have happened like you thought it would happen. But God's faithful. Yes, he is. To all that he has already said. Yes, he is. He is a covenant keeper. Yes, he is. And I want to encourage you today to keep covenant with him. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. This time, we're getting ready to pray. We want to pray for you. If you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, there's no better time than now to invite Jesus into your life. Lord Jesus, I want you to come in my life. Make me like you want me to be. If that's you today, my God, everyone stand here, please. Everyone stand here. Every eye closed. Every eye closed. If that's you today, I'm not going to call you up front. I'm not going to ask you your name. I'm not going to do anything to bring you any kind of shame or embarrassment. But if that's you today, I want to pray for you. I just want to know who I'm praying for. You'll be able to stay right where y'all. But just lift your hand. That's me. Would you include me in the prayer? I want Jesus in my life. Yes, sir. My God. Yes, sir. You say, well, I, I want Jesus in my life. And then there's others that say, I just want to do this better. I want to, I want to honor God more with my faith. Would you include me in the prayer? Yes, I see your hand there. Yes, I see your hand. Yes, I see your hand. Yes, I see your hand. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, I see your hand. Yes, I see your hand. Thank you. My God, I'm telling you right now, the Lord can help us do this. But it starts with a desire. We got to at least want it. Amen. We may not be there like we want to be there, but if we at least want to be there, God can help us get there. Amen. It is so, for He is our present help. Let's pray. Father, in the matchless and powerful name of Jesus, we come. I thank you that you would love us enough as to send us your word today and then to illuminate the truths thereof at the level of our understanding. God, I thank you for this great company. I thank you for your promise that when you send your word, it will not return unto you void. Yes, Lord. God, that it will accomplish what you have purposed for it. And so we thank you that none of the harvest is lost today. Yes. That today your word germinates in the lives of these your people. Yes, yes. Producing good, acceptable, and abundant fruit to the glory yes. of your name. I thank you for the changes that shall be more evident in the days and times ahead of us. Yes. That even now in the secret part of our lives, changes are happening for your glory yes. and for your praise. Yes. I do pray for them, Lord God, that each one would walk, each one of us would walk in new levels of faith, God. Hearkening to your voice. In Jesus' mighty name. And now those of you that lifted your hand and said, I just want Jesus to come into my life. I ask you to repeat after me. In fact, everyone can repeat after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I accept you now I accept you as my Savior. As my Savior. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing my prayer. Thank you for hearing my prayer. And my request. Amen. 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 My God, if you believe the Lord Jesus came into your life, I want to give you praise right now. Just briefly.
with me for a little while. We're soon going to be leaving. I want to encourage you. Uh, this walk that we are called to walk, this life that we are called Amen. to live, is a, a life of faith. Yes, sir. It is not a life that is led by sense realm. What do I mean by sense realm? Sense realm is what I can see, what I can smell, what I can touch, what I can taste, what I can hear in the audible ear. No, 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 it cannot be limited to that. The God we serve, the Bible says God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And we can't see spirits, per se. Amen. 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 This is something we understand by faith. It's Amen. just like uh, uh, the wind. You can't see the wind. Amen. Though the wind is very real. Yes. Yes. Amen. Our God is very real. Yes. And I just want to encourage each and every one of you today to believe God. I'm telling you, God has more for you. And, and, and something I just want to remind you of, amen, even in our global audience, there are some things that God has made you beneficiary of that you didn't have to do anything to get. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All right, now. Praise God. All right, maybe, maybe that went over. No, praise God. There are some things to me uh -huh. that God has made you benefactor of Amen. All right, all right. that you didn't have to do anything to get. Amen. Amen. Yes. I believe I deserve it. When it, for those of you that maybe you've been on some jobs and they have an insurance plan or what have you, and they say, who do you want as the beneficiary? And you choose anybody you want. You can choose family. You can choose friend. You can choose a neighbor. You can choose entity, meaning a business of some sort. That in my demise, I want this money to go over here. There are some folk that will pay the price, but you will get to enjoy the reward. All right, yes, yes. It is so. I mean, you, you can look at it as in the scripture. That's how we're saved today, but Jesus paid the price. Yes, he did. Yes. Amen. Yes. There are some other things that God has for me. What he has for me. Okay, y'all don't want this? That's all right. Bless I know he has some stuff for me. Bless him. Yes. Amen. And, and look at your neighbor and say, don't be a hater. Don't, don't be a hater. Be a celebrator. Be a celebrator. Be a celebrator. Amen. Let's celebrate the blessings of God on this one's yes. life. Amen. The Lord love you today. Uh, message has been recorded. Uh, do we have any first time guests with us today? First time. Amen. Bless you. Uh, we have a CD for you of the message today. We want to sow that into your life. Uh, the message, we ask for a $5 donation for a CD, for those that would care for one. And um, if you cannot afford it, you can still have it. Amen. Amen. So those of you that desire a copy of the message, today, just lift your hands. Amen. Now take the count from the back. Amen. Hold your hands up high. All right. Got to have the count. <coughs> Got it? All right. Amen. They have the count. They have a CD for you. I want to encourage each and every one of you. The Bible said faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God over and over. Amen. Sometimes we need to turn off the radio, turn off the television, unless we're going to be hearing some word in it. Amen. 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 Build you a library. You got CDs you be listening to? Something ought to be the word of the Lord speaking to us. You driving along. Amen. We ought to be taking that word in. That's right. It is so. It is so. So I want to encourage you in that. And at this time, we're going to release it into the hands of Elder Adams. And she'll have our closing remarks and our benediction. Come on, let's get it.